Okay, hello. Uh, this is uh, Sir Raymond of Ipstone. He's a Knight of Kalantir, and I've known him pretty much most of my STA career, at least for 12 or 14 years or so. And um, he's been a good friend and mentor, and uh, thought he might say a couple things about what I've been, you know, how I've been fighting today, and a little bit about knighthood. Sure. Um, the uh, first of all, on the pointers, you a uh, couple of things that I actually mentioned to you earlier bringing um, if, with your shield out here, rotating back a little more to keep your, your right side out of the fight a little bit more when you're not throwing shots. Um, and covering, that little hip rotation will cover up a lot better um, and it'll keep you out of the fight, uh, your back, you know, your right arm out of the fight and your body out of the fight more. The other thing that I noticed, uh, the two, two big things was that, and when you're going to throw um, your shots, you're resetting and you're throwing back over your head before you throw a shot. Um, rather than learning to throw from here and a lot faster and doesn't give any telling signs of where it's going. It's dropping, it could go up, it could drop and it could go down. Um, or you could even you know, go to here and, and shift it to the other side. So um, working on being a little less patterned um, in your style um, because there's a little bit of that going on, a little pattern. Um, I don't know uh, exactly what I want to say on knighthood. Um, I would say um, that my beliefs on knighthood are a little more of the path of virtue um, and a little stricter than a lot of people. Um, and I realize this and I try not to hold other people to it as strong as I would myself or my squires. But, <laughs> um, but I believe that uh, you know just the basics of doing right being honorable, being chivalric in uh, the aspects of on the field, off the field, um, honoring people, helping people when you can, um, and that's just that's part of being a knight. Um, the uh, um, the idea of being right, even whenever it's not convenient. You know, there's times when you're gonna you're gonna say something that might hurt somebody you may have to talk to them about and explain it in more detail to make them understand what's going on but sometimes it may not be convenient you may get yourself in trouble by saying what you need to say but I think it's important that you're honest with yourself and others um, and if you can't well you know if you don't think they're ready for it you deal with it as you can but um, I for now that's probably it um, okay well, thank you for uh, being part of my challenge. It was, a, it was an honor to fight you today, and uh, and have you. Uh, I really appreciate you helping me out with this. Thank you.